face me again. I'm guided to do another reading and this one is a spiritual connection reading. Um, I just did the spiritual journey reading and um, we're at war right now. The enemy is attacking and um, it's time to fight back. Yeah, the time has come to fight back and to realize why you're here and what you're here for. Yep. So I'm going to be uh, doing a reading on the spiritual connection that you have at this time, where your energies are at, and um, what you're meant to hear at this time um, when it comes to your connection. So Archangel Michael is going to need to protect this connection. Um, we're going to need protection like we never needed before. This is the time to ask for protection because the enemies um, have no shame and they will do anything to win. Yep. So don't don't think it's past them to go really low. Like something that you wouldn't even think about doing. Well, they're already thinking it and they're already doing it. So basically whatever the enemies are doing um, and it's still attacking, then you have to fight back. So keep it. Keep fighting back. If they keep attacking, you keep fighting back until they back off, back off and they lose, okay? So that's the only way to end this. Anyways, uh, let's see. Where are the energies at at this time? Especially for those of you who are in a spiritual connection. Prayer will help the situation. Detach from the situation. Believe and trust. And guarded and protected. Yeah, hands down, prayer will help the situation is the message um, for today. Okay, so this is the card that came out. Archangel Michael says, Prayer will help the situation. Oops. Oh, hang on. Okay. Yep, even that, you saw that. A diversion tactic with the enemy. Like I said, they will do anything just to get a win. So don't be surprised if they use something that belongs to you, something that you love, something or someone that you didn't think would go against you. They will use that person or that thing against you. All right. So don't be surprised by that because you're at war and um, it's happening right now. All right, let me go ahead and um, um, get this card. Prayer will help the situation. That's what Archangel Michael is saying. All right, so this is the Starry Beginnings Oracle. Life is an expression of you. Life is more than ex existing. Let love be your guide. Live a life from love, guided by love. Time to do it differently. Go beyond what you have done before. You have a sensitive antenna. Sensitive people collect the emotions of others. Oh, so yeah, if you're an empath, yeah. You're very sensitive to uh, emotions. Like me. <laughs> But you're also very intuitive, so it goes, it's like, it works out either way. And 
let go of a fixed plan. Allow for spontaneity and and growth. Okay. So these are the cards that came out. Bottom of the deck is breathe love into your life. Remind yourself to breathe. So let me show you the cards that came out. Let love be your guide. Time for you to do it differently. You have a sensitive antenna. And let go of, of a fixed plan. Yeah, I let go of a fixed plan, hands down. That is what I am picking up at this time. So this is the message that you need to hear right now. Let go of a fixed plan. Allow for spontaneity and growth. So this is the Rim Oracle. I want to see what um, they have to say and what you need to hear at this time. So you have Whirling Goddess, number 30. Uza Star Venus, number 26. Number 23, Star Mother Arrakis. Number 27, the Angel Razbar. Oh, wow. And number 24, Resplendent with Grace. Ooh, so you have all these feminine energies. Wow. Okay, bottom of the deck is, look at that, Merciful Mother Jamal, number 44. That's the divine number. When you see 44, that's the emperor, <laughs> repeated. That's the divine number. Okay. So let me show you the cards that came up. Number 26, Al Uza, Star of Venus. 23, Star Mother of Arrakis. Twenty seven, the Angel Rasbar. And twenty four, resplendent with grace. Wow. Yeah, Star of Venus stands up to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. All right, so that is the message you met, were meant to hear at this time. Number 26, El Uza, Star of Venus. So Venus is the planet of love, yep. So Mars is the god of war, and they're gonna to go to war, for the warriors. And then you have Venus, the planet of love. And the Empress is ruled by Venus, while the Emperor is ruled by Mars. So you have war and love. <laughs> so I'm getting. All right. So this is uh, the tarot deck that I'm guided to use. This is the cosmic tarot deck. Um, bottom, bottom of it is Queen of Cups. Oh my God, look at that, Queen of Cups, Scorpio. Two of Wands. Two 
on the cups. Eight of Swords. Uh, yeah, no, that's reversed. Five of Pentacles reversed. Uh, no. Prince of Cups. Seven of Swords reversed. No. Ace of Wands. Yes. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start pulling um, some cards. Nine of Cups. Three of Wands reversed. Star. Judgment. Oh my God. And Six of Pentacles. Oh my God. Look at that. Bottom of the deck is Seven of Swords. Again. Really? 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 You're still being sneaky yeah, after all this time? After you got caught? After you got called out? After everybody knows how you really are? After you've been exposed? You're still being sneaky? Really? Uh, no. Okay, so this is what... This is what the star wants to say to you, okay? The one that's guiding you? That's what... That's what they want to say to you. You wish... Your wishes will be, will be fulfilled. You don't have to wait. You've been guided. Your enemies will be uh, will receive judgment. So whatever they did to you, will be done to them. And you want an equal give and take, and you will get it. You will get equal give and take. All right? That's what I'm hearing. So let me show you the cards that came out. Nine of Cups. Three of Wands, reversed. Star. Judgment. And Six of Pentacles. Okay. So, so far, um, I'm seeing Aquarius with a star. And Scorpio with Judgment. And this is what they look like next to each other. Aquarius and Scorpio. Okay. So let me clarify the cards that came out. Ooh, another cups is clarified by the hair font. Three of Wands reversed is clarified by Six of Cups. The star is clarified by Death. Oh my God, look at that. You have two Scorpio cards. Oh my God. Look at that. Two Scorpio cards show up in this reading. Death and Judgment. Look at that. Death, number 13, is a Scorpio card, and so is Judgment, number 20. So when you see Death and Judgment, they're Scorpio cards. Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pluto. So when you see these cards, they are owned by Scorpio. Four Swords to clarify judgment and Ace of Cups to clarify Six of Pentacles. Okay, let me go ahead and clarify um, the cards that came out. Hair Font is clarified by Eight of Pentacles. Six of Cups is clarified by Nine of Swords. Death is clarified by Five of Wands reversed. Four of Swords is clarified by the Empress. Oh, the Empress. Oh my God, she's here. The Empress is here. She was in my last reading and now she's here again. Oh my God, the Empress. The Divine Feminine, number three. 
And Ace of Cups is clarified by King of Pentacles. Oh my, look at that. You have the, what? You have the Empress next to the King of Pentacles? Really? I've seen that before. And it's happening again. It is reading. <laughs> so you have the Empress, number three. Ruled by Venus, a Taurus and Libra, next to the King of Pentacles, a Capricorn, Patriarch, somebody very abundant like her, and he will be an Emperor. So you have an Empress who's the Queen of Everything, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, and Queen of Pentacles, next to the King of Pentacles, who's a future emperor. <laughs> Alright. So this is what my intuition wants to say. His intuition and her intuition. Alright. Look at that. Again, seven swords. The bottom of the deck. Reverse. That's why. Okay. Um, All right, let me remind you of what the cards want to say before I forget to do that. Let me do that right now. Okay. So, Archangel Michael wants to say, prayer will help the situation. And, sorry, Beginnings Oracle, wants to say, let go of a fixed plan, number 35, allow for spontaneity and growth. All right. And this is what uh, it says from the Rumi article, number 26. Look at that. Three and five is eight. That's eternity. And then Two and six, 26 came up again, and that's also an eight for eternity. And this one is El Uza, Star of Venus. That's what it wants to say. Okay. So this is what the intuitions want to say. What? So my intuition wants to show this, Queen of Wands. <laughs> so she's a Leo. She's the queen of passion. Her match is the king of wands in Aries, who's the king of passion. And she's a future empress. Oh my God. This is what he wants to say. This, this is what his intuition wants to say. Temperance. So if you're a Sagittarius, this is your card. So the temperance is a very strong connection because you have two cups and the lovers combined into one card called the temperance. So that means that he has a very strong connection to his match. Oh, oh. You know what? I just saw the Queen of Pentacles too. Okay. Basically, this is uh this is what she wants to say. Okay, her intuition. Something about the princess of pentacles. So <clears throat> the queen of pentacles used to be a princess. Okay, so this is who she used to be before she became a queen. Um, the queen of pentacles is a matriarch. She's nurturing. She's warm and loving. She's abundant. She's a Taurus. She is a, a future empress, and her match is the King of Pentacles, a Capricorn, who's like in this reading. <laughs> Let me just show you again. Yeah, that's her match, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so. Yep, so that's basically 
um, what I wanted to share about her. That's what her intuition wanted to share with you. All right. So all the cards are here. So let me go ahead and interpret them to see what they mean and what they want to say. All right. They, he, and she. So I'm going to say they because that's the first thing I'm saying. Okay. So they will get their wishes fulfilled. They're seen as guides. She's seen as the internal guide, the hypesis, while he's seen as the hair font, the external guide. So you have Cancer, the high priestess, and Taurus, the hair font. Um, this is going to happen very quickly. There's no need for them to wait. They're soulmates. Um, he's the king of passion and he's an Aries. Wait, hang on, hang on. Oh, hang on. Let me rephrase that. The king of swords. I was thinking about the king of wands. I don't care. Okay. So he's the king of swords and he makes good judgment. He's a Libra and his match is the queen of swords and Aquarius. And she brings clarity. You also have a future emperor and empress. So they're both guided. They both have been through uh, death in some way, um, a loss, an ending, and they're both going through change, a transformation. All right, that's what I'm hearing. Um, it's like they've both been through conflict, and there's no need for that. So. They will both be peaceful, especially with each other. Their enemies will receive judgment. So whatever was done to them, their enemies um, will get that. So that will be done to them. Whatever their enemies did to them, that will be done to their enemies. All right, that's judgment. They're both healing. They both know that the Empress is the queen of everything. Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and Queen of Wands. She's number three, and she's the Divine Feminine. Um, they both want an equal give and take, and they will both get that. Um, they're both going to get a new love. And that new love, not only is their, is their soulmate, they have a mutual connection with, they also have a spiritual connection with, and they're very attracted to. This is what I'm getting. And yeah, it's like, and that new love is also abundant like them. So it's like, that's their match. Seriously. That new love is their match. They will match them in every way possible. Yep. So you have the divine feminine, the queen of everything, and the divine masculine, the king of everything. And they'll be with their matches. And the King of Pentacles, yeah, um, he's abundant. He's the King of Pentacles, which means he's a Capricorn. He's a Patriarch. He's a future Emperor. And his match is the Queen of Pentacles, who's a Taurus. And that's what I'm going to say. Let me go ahead and clarify what the intuitions are saying. All right. So you have Queen of Wands, Temperance, and Princess of Pentacles. Ooh, so the Queen of Wands is clarified by the Tower. Temperance is clarified by Queen of Cups. Oh my God. 
And then the Princess of Pentacles is clarified by strength. Oh my God. Oh my God. So you have, all right. So the Queen of Wands is clarified by the Tower. So that means that, um, yeah, she's a Leo. Look at that. This is a Leo card, the strength card. So number eight in the Queen of Wands. Yep. She's a Leo. Okay. So it means that um, her match is ruled by Mars, the King of Wands, and he's an Aries. And, um, yep. And this is an Aries card, the Tower. Yep, look at that eye. Ooh, look at that eye. Look at that eye. Look at that eye striking the top of that tower, burning it, destroying it. Yep, and people falling from it. Look at that, the eye of Horus. <laughs> so that means that um, they're being watched, so they know what's been going on. Yep, so her enemies will be towered because of what they did to her. Yep, that's what they get. And that's what I'm getting from this uh, message. So, temperance is clarified by the Queen of Cups. So, what I'm getting is that um, when the Queen of Cups meets her match, they have a very strong connection called the temperance. That's what I'm getting. And... The Princess of, of Pentacles becomes the Queen of Pentacles. Wait. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. That's the Queen of Cups. Hang on. Let me read you that. Jeez. I just noticed that. The Queen of Cups is the empath. Let me rephrase that. So, when the Queen of Cups meets her match, she had she will have a very strong connection to her match and this is why you have the temperance card all right that's what i'm getting and and then the princess of pentacles is going to become the queen of pentacles the Queen of Pentacles is a Taurus, and the Princess of Pentacles is clarified by the Strength card, which is a Leo. So this Princess of Pentacles is very strong. This is what I'm getting. Okay. All right, so these are the signs that I'm seeing. I see. Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Leo. Yeah, that's what I'm guided to um, go with. This new love is going to be a very strong connection. So that's what I'm getting. All right, and that's what I'm going to be using to end this reading. Um, you have the Ace of Cups, new love. And this new love is going to be very strong. And that's why the Temperance card is here. You have the Two of Cups and the Lovers combined. And you get the Temperance. Having said that... <laughs> Alpha, I hope I helped you in some way, and I will talk to you again soon.